Hello gorgeous, welcome to Simply Sango. I forgot how my intro went. Hello gorgeous. Greetings go yeah there you go. Greetings gorgeous, welcome to Simply Sango. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Sango, a Japanese Jamaican living here in Japan. Always doing something. If this isn't your first time here, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back. I am so grateful that you are enjoying the content so far and you are back. Speaking of coming back, I have not posted or uploaded anything here in the longest of time and I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, I'm going to apologize because I feel like I am letting some of you guys down. Yeah. So mini life update. Nothing much has changed since the last time. I'm still going back and forth between my apartment and my parents and that will continue until the construction is finished. <laughs> like the balcony of my parents place is all gone and they need to rebuild it and because of the inconsistent weather it's been sunny it's been rainy if you are in japan right now you know how the weather's mood swings are these days it's like one minute it's sunny the other it's like pouring pouring what's it called cats and dogs dogs and cats just animals just falling from the sky not necessarily just hypothetically but metaphorically yeah cats and dogs but it's like as soon as i get back into my regular routine I go back to my parents and then you know it come, it's raining so I come back here and then I go back there continuing my life update I've been you know going back and forth between my parents place but because I'm not focusing much on simply sango right now I'm so sorry I have been pouring my time and brain into creating something else and some of you might already know what's going on since you know most of you guys follow me on my Instagram me and my good friend Sachko, you guys have seen her in most of my plant vlogs and all that stuff. We decided that we are going to start a plant consultation and styling business. I don't know if we should call it a business. Oh my god, that sounds so epic. I'm gonna just call it a project for now. The business is called The Plant Therapists and what we do is plant care consultation and styling. So we basically help you take care of your plants. We do consultations. For, for example, if you have a plant and it's like on the brink, on the edge, of glory you guys can you know reach out to us and be like oh i need help with your plants and then we'll send you a survey and see what your plant care habits are and routine and we'll try to you know get you back on track um we also do shopping and styling so you know we can help you with the shopping we can help you with the styling you guys know that i am a major interior design geek i almost said freak <laughs> You guys know that I am a huge interior design geek. A lot of people have encouraged me to do something about it. You shouldn't let a skill just sit down in your apartment. You need to spread it and that's something I've been trying to do. You know, I'm a very learning motivated person. Like I love learning things. Most of my actions are driven from trying to learn things and because of that, there are times when things become an inconsistent. For example, the channel, <laughs> you know, I, for now we have a website with no pricing and I mean not really released but we have a website and we have our Instagram account and um, what do we have? What else do we have? And TikTok. Your girl is on TikTok. I mean the account is on TikTok. So me and Sachko, we have, we've basically been just focusing on branding and mapping out what we're doing and brainstorming and visiting plenty plant shops that's that hasn't changed a bit um but now we're not doing it for our sole purposes it's more like we're trying to you know get everyone along with this very great hobby you know we want to help people um fall in love with plant with taking care of plants because Look, plant care is self-care, okay? Don't underestimate the power of plants, right? <laughs> and I think that's really, really... this That's an ideology or, you know, a mentality we want to spread. And I see a lot of people stepping into that hobby to better their mental health. I mean, that's basically how I started taking care of plants. Janoa and I, we've been doing long-distance relationship for quite a 
long time now and even before this long period of time he's been going out on deployments so I'm like okay I need something apart from makeup and then that's how I started taking care of plants I was just gonna take care of one monstera plant I did not expect it to expand this rapidly and yeah you know things happen and then I started liking it and now we're more into like deep diving and spreading that joy and mentality and we're having so much fun while doing it and it's there's I'm so excited we are both so excited about this because I remember when we were in university and I remember we were trying to like I don't know this is kind of like an embarrassing story but we were trying to I mean I kind of suggested to Sachiko we should like you know make a joint Instagram account and post pictures of us posing in random places in Tokyo and nothing business driven or anything it's just something that I feel like we've wanted to do for the longest of time but we didn't know what we, where we should start with and she's the best with these plants and you know every day we learn something from each other and we're just having fun and hopefully it hopefully our thing spreads you know into a greater thing and beyond <laughs> so that's the second thing that's been going on so if you guys don't mind please go ahead over to our Instagram account to show your support okay um, your follows mean a lot um, your likes your engagement like yes and even if even if you don't like plants like share it to somebody who likes plants you know it they might enjoy the content more than you do as I usually say on the channel you know from a couple weeks back I've been trying to stay in as much as possible because the COVID numbers are just being even ridiculous now and people are being more careless I guess it's, it's like people are getting sick and tired of the situation and it's really stressful how the government is running in Japan I don't really want to like raise any specific examples but I am going to less than 20% of people of the country have been vaccinated yet they're still trying to proceed with the Olympics and then the whole afro hair swimming cap being declined bullshit and then these stupid hotels and tourist facilities putting up signs saying not to yeah it's just stressful so I've been trying to stay in as much as possible and even if I do go out I'll be going to plant shops and plant shops only work has been great work is still work and yeah it's work I've been eating a lot um, maybe I can put in a little montage of food that I've had these last couple weeks because I've been filming the food but I haven't been really filming anything other than that so here's a montage of me and my friends having food okay all right it's, it's not that much so don't expect much Okay, we're back so um, that's basically me eating out I know nothing special other than that there isn't much going on maybe I should give you guys like a, a, an apartment update I'm so excited to show you guys some stuff that I've done um, so one if you guys follow me on Instagram you guys might have already seen this I'm sorry if it's like overlapping um, but I got these little lampshades on Merukari this one and then there's another one here the person was selling them in a pair so I was like oh my god it matches the little lampshade that I have in my bedroom so I was like okay I need some lamp I don't know okay um, you guys know that I am a big fan of Arvin Olano um, which is an interior design person 
on YouTube and Instagram and they really love like wall hanging lamps I didn't know how to hang these things because the lamps actually came with this little hook thingy it already came with a hook so I was like ooh I can hang them up in my room that's so amazing but then I was like how the hell am I gonna hang up something in my room so I got this little shaver hanging thingy from Daiso along with the lollipop stick of course unused i used this special type of glue which won't ruin the wallpaper eventually so now we have some fancy lights in the corner of my bedroom like look at that warm tone it looked so pretty at nighttime i'll show you guys probably on the screen and it's like so pretty because it's like two of them i had a floor lamp that's kind of not with the theme so it was really nice to find this pair of lamps to put up in my bedroom and hang them here's a small space advice if you have a small space you really want to like get things off the floor which is why i have my stool my monstera on the stool i have um the lamps like you know you want to get things off the floor as much as possible and i of course learned that from arvin and the lamp was one of the things that was on the floor that was very annoying because it's by the window and anytime I want to go outside I have to like kick it out of the way speaking of by the wet window so this is a decorative pot it's upside down right now so it's hollow inside but it's a very cute I think it would work don't mind my ashenies I think it's a very cute um, alternative for a bedside table and yeah right now I'm looking for a little glass board thingy to put on top so that the balance is more better and I, ha I can put more stuff on there so that's two things that I've updated about my bedroom area in my apartment I did get a bunch of new plants and I also got this amazing trash can another thing is I've been binging a lot of the office recently I am at season seven episode four um yeah that's what i've been up to <laughs> so if you see me talking awkwardly to the camera and like staring into space if you see me in public you know what you yeah it's been over a year since i haven't seen genoa so that's that um i really want to get this vaccine thing going and get it over with but um yeah the distribution is just very slow here and i have to wait a little bit longer and even if i do get the vaccines i'm pretty sure that my parents will be totally against me traveling at the moment so i'm just trying to stay calm and you know wait it out a little bit more but i am getting impatient my partner is too so that's another thing. I've been trying to keep myself busy and avoiding those lonely feelings. Ding! Thank you so much for listening to me blabber throughout the video. I'll try to vlog as much as possible if something comes up and I will keep you guys updated. If you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button. And if you don't feel like doing any one of those... Blah, 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 blah. And if you don't feel like doing any one of those yet, go ahead and share to a family or a friend who might enjoy the content more than you do because we all have different tastes and that's okay. Thank you so much for watching. Sengu out. Ooh, that was good.